Hello everyone, this is the WL Toys V912 Brushless Edition. This helicopter features a brushless main motor, a brushed tail motor, a 850 milliamp two cell battery or 7.4 volts. It comes with spare main blades, a spare tail blade, a two cell balance charger. Um, I do actually like these chargers because they come with such a long power cable. You can actually hang the helicopter on the wall and charge it. I know it's not recommended to charge it with it in the model, but I do it anyways. This helicopter flies great. I've flown it three times now. I own its predecessor, the full brushed version. This has way better climb rate, way more power. The tail seems to keep up with it just fine. Uh, the size is exactly the same. The f the nose to the tail is about 16 inches from blade tip to blade tip is 20 just shy of 21 inches the radio is pretty much identical I don't think they utilize the I don't want to call it a turbo button but that's basically what it is gives you a little bit more throw on the servos made no difference on this helicopter I think you just get the full throws when you go into high mode which it is very nimble it's very fast very much fun to fly. Absolutely enjoy it way more than the V912 brushed version. Uh, I like it more than the V913. I also have that. This is just much more nimble. It hovers great. Uh, I, the flight video I'm going to attach to this shows me crashing. As you can see, no scratches on it. Looks brand new out of the box. Speaking of I know some people would prefer the original box. Honestly, I'm really glad that Banggood's going to put them in a separate styrofoam container to ship. As the one I received, no harm, no foul to Banggood, has this in it. And the foam is in act actually in backwards. On the other side, where it was, it penetrated all the way through and bent the tail blade and chipped off some of the paint. I bent it back. The plastic is actually very um, forgiving. It let me bend it back. Still flies great. No vibration issues, no wobbling. Um, speaking of, the tail wobble, there is none. The gyros work great on the tail. Gyro. Then, let's go ahead, those of you that own the brushed version can take a look at the inside and see the difference with the board versus your own personal. So the first thing you'll notice is our ESC here. I personally might relocate it just for cooling. As battery and ESC being stacked on top of each other really won't work out when I'm trying to switch out batteries. Other than that, the combo works great. Another thing, if some of you for some reason have like the bubble machine and or gun camera system, I'm not sure how that's going to work out for this as I don't see the ports for them. Maybe they'll add that to later versions of this board as they work on perfecting it. I can't necessarily call it a downside because these aren't exactly meant for taking video. They're more meant for flying, having fun, and bashing against the ground because these things are insanely tough, almost indestructible. Pull this back so we can look at the brushless motor, maybe focus on it better. There's our brushless motor. It actually has WL Toys engraved on it, which is nice because that makes me want to believe that they went through the effort of their own research and development on this thing. For the motor development, that is. All in all, I recommend it. It has been an absolute blast thus far. The size has not changed. Those of you that are unsure about the size or what it actually compares to. I'll grab my full-size helicopter. 
and put it up next to it. So that's a 450 class brushless helicopter. Collective pitch, which personally I find terrifying. So as you can see the V912 is mm, about half the size I would think. Uh, it's still a good size. I took it fairly high and could still easily see it. And that also says the radio has a good range. Uh, the only other thing I wish they would do with this helicopter is maybe they'll do this in the future if there's enough demand. So get on the forms everyone. Is a brushless kit or conversion kit for the tail because it's still a brushed motor. So we'll see how many flights it lasts. I actually haven't replaced a tail motor in my other V912 yet. But I know I will have to at some point. But on that note, um, I'm going to go ahead and stop talking. And next will be the footage of the flight. Hope you enjoy it. Please comment and let me know what I can do better in the future or what you think of this helicopter.